Uh, la my name is Jake, and I want to do some basic Game Boy game reviews. Uh, one of my first consoles, well, it wasn't even a console. One of the first systems that I owned was the Game Boy Color. I collected uh, all of this stuff. I had the little case where that held everything individually. <clears throat> and now, what's what's really neat is when you go into your local retro game store, not so much your GameStop, but your retro game gaming store. These games are extremely cheap. I got every one of these for about five bucks a piece, and I just want to go through them real quickly. Let you know. Uh, whether they were really good or whether they were really bad. Because they are hit and miss. It's just like any of the other older retro systems. They put so many out. And there was so many. There was such like a flush of the market. Or a rush to market of a lot of crappy games. So if you sift through it you can find some gold. And all I want to point out first is... Rampage 2. I played this one and it was kind of like an old school cartoon the way that an old school cartoon will use the same background over and over. Like they'll reanimate the individual cartoon but the background is just going to be the same thing over and over and over and that's what they did with this. You, uh, If you remember Rampage, Rampage was the game that you like jump on the side of the building and you smack each like level then you go up and then the building falls down and like tanks shoot at you and everything and it was really cool in arcade it was really cool on Super Nintendo uh, this is like I said it, it gets really repetitive it'll take you to different locations like Tokyo Japan but all it is is maybe a, a different color of a background so even though this was only five bucks and it was really cheap I wouldn't get it so as you can see, it'll go quickly. This is just my first one where I wanted to just knock a few of these off. And then I'll delve into, into it a little bit deeper and maybe show some screenshots or what the game's actually like. But with Tetris, you don't have to do that. Everybody played the original Tetris when the, and everybody knows what it is. <coughs> On the original Game Boy, they had the Tetris that they had in the arcade dumbed down for a Game Boy. This is a Game Boy Color one. If you if you pay just a little bit more, the original Game Boy will probably cost you like ten fifteen dollars. Just today we got without the awesome screen light and magnifier, we got uh, the Game Boy Color today just for twenty dollars. Uh, we got two games for ten dollars, and just because usually it's a small business. Small businesses are different from like GameStop because they can just reach off the shelves and say, you know what, we're just going to give you more games because you're going to come back if you have just free stuff. So he threw in a free game. Tetris, I loved. It, it's really great. It has a little bit of a twist on the time trials and it's got, uh, because it was Game Boy Color, it has a battery inside that you can replace because it's probably going to be dead but it'll hold your high scores which is different from the original Game Boy. So even then when they came out with the Game Boy Color they're, they're talking about like a next generation. It's the next generation we can't just put Tetris out it's got to be a little bit better. Which we... <clears throat> I think Super Mario Land was the one that actually came with the Game Boy. This is just gold. Nobody has, I uh, don't need to go uh, through it that deeply because it is, it's one of the original Marios. But what I do want to go into is the Game Boy Color one. Again, it has the battery in it and it has the memory in it. So just like the original Nintendo, that's the game that you get to play. It's the one that was on the big brick original Nintendo. And, you know, on the regular screen of the Nintendo, the original Mario game it had those three pipes that could take you to the different worlds so that you could have three uh, people going and being at different spots in the map in the story. And this has that same feature. Other than that, it also has like a, a, a little game for Luigi and a little game for the ghost and a versus, which is cool. So I actually, I recommend this one. I recommend the Super Mario Land. <coughs> Let's see. Dr. Mario. This one, it takes a little time to learn this one. It's it's 
if you like Candy Crush, I think you would like Dr. Mario. It's a, it's a bunch of little pills, which is kind of funny that you have to stack up on each other. But it's for the original Game Boy, so it's just different shades of gray. So there's not much variety to it, but within the game itself, there is a lot to it. And I, I recommend that one. I got addicted to that one as a kid. And it's funny, it's little pills and it's addicting. And then in my next video, I'll go through uh, Super Off-Road, Star Wars, and Bomberman. And I'll go into that a little bit deeper. And let you know what I think is cool for buying.